guys, it's Jessica with Expressions Final, and I am going to show you how I traced the Rubik's Cube image and separated out all the different colors um, for the layered Rubik's Cube t-shirt. So I'm going to go over to my browser, and I typed in Rubik's, and we're going to type in cube, and under images, this first one that shows up is perfect. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to copy image. And then I'm going to go over to my Silhouette Studio program and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And that will drop that image right into my program. So I'm going to click on it and then click on this corner part and drag him and make it a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on. So right now I, would, I could print this but I wouldn't be able to cut it out. There's no cut lines on it. So I need to make some. So I'm going to go up to this blue and yellow window click on the open trace window and then I'm going to select trace area. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to left click on my mouse and drag a box over the top and this these yellow parts are where it's going to trace so I'm going to go over to high pass filter and I want to fill in all those black parts I want them to be more filled in with the yellow so if I do too much it starts encroaching on my little boxes down here. So I'm going to back it off a little bit and then I'm going to have to do some adjusting. So I want to get as much as the yellow as I can without blocking out too much of the black. So I'm going to play with that a little bit. I think 8 looks pretty good. So I'm going to select trace and then I'm going to drag my Rubik's Cube off of there. Alright, so that's like a looks like a pretty good trace. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I've got some adjusting to do. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click. And right now it's all one piece. I need to release the compound path. And this will separate out all the little tiny pieces. So all the red lines is where it's going to cut. And I need to take out some of these, these red lines. Um, so if I just push delete, if I select that and push delete on my keyboard, it will delete it or I can right click and select delete from there. So I'm going to delete out all these little weird extra lines that it traced that I don't want. Um, anything that's not a part of the cube. Oop, and that one deleted too much. So I'm going to undo and I'm going to zoom in so I can see it really good. And I'm going to take my knife tool right here and I'm just going to cut that little guy off so he's separate and now I can select him and delete him so keep deleting around those lines and looks like I've got another one here so I'm going to take my knife tool and I'm just going to cut him off and then select back on my arrow so I can select him to delete. So I'm going to go around and delete all these little weird pieces. So now I've got all those little bits taken out. I need to go around the edge and make sure everything's nice and smooth and I don't have any breaks in my path. And I have a break down here that I need to fix. So I'm going to select my erase tool and I'm going to make sure I'm on the outline the outline selected and I am just going to erase that little guy and then I'm going to click back on my arrow up here and double click so I can adjust my path okay so I'm going to double click on point editing and I'm just going to bring those two points together so they meet and do it right there so that will fill in my break and I'm going to adjust this one down here. I'm going to delete point. I'm going to select this high point and delete it. Just so I have a little more room between that line there. So zoom out. Looks like I have another break over here that I need to fix. So I'm going to zoom in, see this little tiny break right here. So I'm going to erase again. Pick which eraser I want. And I'm just going to click right there so it breaks that path. 
and then I am going to double click to open my point editing window and then I'm just going to bring these points back together where they're broken so it will fill in that gap so my machine will cut right there so I'm going to zoom out and everything else looks good all right so we have this traced how we want it and now we need to add in some color so before I do that I'm going to select it all over and I'm going to make it the size that I want it to cut so I'm going to make it about seven inches so I'm just going to drag on this edge here and pull it out till it's seven inches wide okay so we've got that size just right and now we need to fill in our colors so we're gonna to refer to our picture here and we are gonna fill in each little box with the color that it needs to be so if you just click on the edge of it it will select it and then you can fill in what color it needs to be so I'm gonna do all the yellows and then I'm going to do all the greens and it looks like I can select this big chunk here they're all green and that part is just black so I'm going to delete that out so it doesn't cut anything right there and then we got a green one right here okay so we've got all our little cubes filled in now I need to fill in the black so if I click right here on the edge and click on black it will fill in um, and I didn't fill in my white ones, so I'm gonna go back and fill those in white Okay, so now we've got all our colors filled in how they need to be. We'll zoom out a little bit and move this guy off. All right, a little T. So I'm gonna click on the text box and make a T so we know which way is the top. Um, and then I'm gonna go over here to draw a rectangle and I'm gonna draw a rectangle around this. And this will help me line it, everything up and keep everything nice and clear. Okay, now I'm gonna select everything and since we are doing heat transfer vinyl, I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to mirror right, and this will give me the mirrored image. So when I do heat press it on, it will be this, it'll look like this one. So I'm gonna move this one over off of our page that we're working on, and move this one into place. Okay, so now we need to separate out all the colors and the layers. So I'm gonna duplicate this right, and this first one is going to be our base layer, which is all black. So any color on there, I'm going to delete out just by selecting it and pushing delete. Okay, so now this next box, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to duplicate it right. And I am going to take out, let's, let's make this our yellow layer. So I'm going to take out the black layer just by selecting and deleting. So anything that is not yellow, I'm going to delete. Just select it and either push delete on your keyboard or right click and delete. Okay, so we need to duplicate this layer again. And this layer, so we've got our black layer so we can delete the black layer on this one. And we've done a yellow layer so we can delete yellow on this one. And let's make this one our green layer. So now we'll delete out everything that's not green. Okay. And then we'll duplicate this layer again. Duplicate right. And we've done a black layer, so we can get rid of our black, get rid of our yellow, get rid of our green. And let's make this layer blue. So delete out anything that is not blue. Okay. And now select this all again, duplicate right. And we will delete out our black layer, our yellow layer, our green layer, and our blue layer. Because we've already got those going. Okay, so let's make this our red layer. So we'll delete out the white and the orange. Okay, and do the same thing. Select it all, duplicate to the right, and then select out anything that is black, yellow, 
green, red, blue. So all we are left with is the white and the orange. So let's make this our white layer. So anything else, delete out. Okay, and our last layer, delete out everything but the one orange square. Just by selecting, or you can drag a box over and get a few at a time. And delete, delete, delete. Okay, so now we have all of our layers right in a row. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I am gonna select over these and I'm gonna move them down off my cutting screen, off of my white. So anything that's on this white part right here is what's going to cut. So now I'm gonna go over to um, Open Design Page Settings and my material is 12 by 12, so I'm gonna adjust that. And now I'm gonna put my black flocked vinyl in and cut that, and then adjust my settings, move this one off after it's cut, and then select my yellow layer, put it on my cutting area, and then put, I would put the yellow Easy Weed into my machine and cut that out and then repeat it with all the rest of the layers. So if you guys have any questions about this, leave us a comment and we will help you out. But that is how you would copy and trace um, and then select out each individual layer. Kind of a tedious process, um, but for this shirt, it was worth it. Thanks for watching.